Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. I welcome you all in the second edition of Orin City Literature Fest, which is organized by CGR Knowledge Foundation. I am Prachi Chandekar, your anchor for the session. This session is of 40 minutes and a buzzer will be rang at the end of 40 minutes. The topic of the session is superheroes, starships, strangers, stories, an introductory session to creative writing and thinking for age group 10 to 12. I am very pleased to welcome the speaker of the session, Sorin Desai Sir. Sir is an ideator, a creative writer, a story crafter, a mentor and teller, as well as a published poet and comic writer. Sir enjoys reading, writing, and telling stories in every form, and have worked with over 2,000 entrepreneurs, professionals, and students on story crafting, creative writing, and thinking ideation, and content development. Sir has facilitated 200 plus workshops, sessions for institutions, events like the Orange City Literature Festival, IILM University, Hindustan Times, NIIT, Mumbai University, Academy of Architecture, Rajiv Gandhi Colleges of Management Studies, Somya College, COGS, Secret Passages, TSOT, and etc. We welcome you, sir, and the session is over to you, sir. Thank you, Prachi. Thank you for the introduction. Okay, good afternoon, and uh, it's a wonderful, wonderful day today. Uh, I'm really, really excited about this. Uh, last year, uh, I was at the uh, site at the college uh, during the festival. This year, it is digital. Uh, you know, different mechanism, but uh, I'm still as excited and I hope you all are too. So, so this is what we're going to do. Okay. I am going to share with you all a couple of uh, slides uh, and we're going to do a couple of hands-on creative exercises and writing exercises, whatever we can fit in in the next 40 minutes. All right. So in the next three seconds, we're going to go live with the presentation. All right. All right, I hope you can see this. Are you all able to uh, see my screen? Awesome, okay, great. Okay, so, um, you know, before I begin, I want you to know that, um, uh, no, uh, you know, that the, the Rice Only uh, group and the festival and all the team, they've been really, really kind to me uh, twice. And they also agreed that maybe, you know, if you put up some entries on your social media and you put a hashtag OCLF Nagpur, uh, or, you know, through the next 40 minutes, whatever you write, if you put it up on your social media or, or your parents' social media and you hashtag, put in the hashtag OCLF Nagpur, you might win some surprise prizes, yeah? So whatever you write, you know, even if you feel it's not that great, no problem, just put, share it. Tag us with hashtag OCLF Nagpur and you might win some interesting, exciting prizes. Yeah. So uh, get started. Yeah. Pens and paper ready. Awesome. Okay. So here's the first one. This is a piece of driftwood, but it's not just a piece of wood. Okay. What I want you to do is I want you to think up five to seven unique uses. If uh, you know you were to have a couple of pieces of driftwood like this, what do you think you could do with it? Right. So the, the obvious thing is you could say that, you know, I can use it as, uh, you know, to uh, light up a fire, maybe, yes. But there's so many more things you could do with it. So that's what I want you to do. I'm giving you about, say, three, two minutes. Think of as many uses for this driftwood. It could be anything. It could be magical. It could be, it could be anything that your imagination can uh, bring to you. Yeah, five to seven. Quickly, your time starts now.
let me let me get you uh, you know moving uh, maybe with a with a wild idea or two uh, what if you could uh, uh, you know use uh, you know point uh, sharpen one of the edges uh, you know like a toothpick and this could become a toothpick for a dragon right a dragon toothpick yeah uh, it'll be an interesting toothpick for the dragon uh, why not right it's all in in, in our imagination uh, so i want you to go as wild as you can uh, five to seven is fantastic. Uh, if you do ten, even better. Yeah, but at least aim for five quickly. Maybe you could think of some sculpture with this. I don't know. I'm I'm looking forward to what you can imagine with this. Let me see, what else could we do with this? What else, what else? I can't wait to read your answers. I, whenever I've tried this, you know, with, uh, with people of your age, you know, I've been super surprised and super happy with the kind of responses I've got. Things I could not even imagine. So I'm waiting to, you know, know what you guys have. Don't forget to hash, put in the hashtag so that we can read what you share with us. And this is driftwood as an example, right? You can change it to anything and, and, and try this out with your friends or with your family. Instead of driftwood, um, you could use, you know, maybe a pin uh, or it could be a rubber band or it could be a piece of paper or it could be a pillow or it could be a used tire. It can be anything, right? It's so much fun just to think of wild and even useful ideas, right? Um, you know, you could think of it as recycling, upcycling, but, you know, it's not just that. It's also a lot of fun. Okay, so just one more minute to go, and then we're moving on to the next exercise, yeah? I hope you, all of you have at least five uses. Put that down and get a fresh piece of paper ready because we're going, moving on to the next one in 30 seconds, yeah. By the way, driftwoods, you know, these are just, uh, you know, branches uh, that, uh, you know, kind of float in the water uh, because they've fallen down uh, from the trees and, you know, they get stripped of all the bark and usually you find them by the sides of the rivers, right? Uh, and uh, they're beautiful uh, to work with. You, you, you know, you can have some beautiful, amazing sculptures, um, you know, and, and chairs. You can uh, you can make tables out of them. You can make uh, you can uh, make uh, uh, you know create uh, ball hangings out of that of the, out of these. You can create a wa walking stick. There's so much you can do with this. If you can drill some holes into it. Uh, you know, you can you can set up candle uh, candles in it. Uh, the things that you can do with this are endless, but that's functional, right? If you get into the space of imagination, uh, right, practically endless things you could do with this. Uh, you know, I, some some uh, you know sorcerer could even you know charm it and use it as a very 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 interesting wand, right? Why not? Why should it be straight? Okay, awesome. So let's uh, move to the next exercise. Yeah, uh, do not forget the hashtag is OCLF Nakpur. Yeah. Okay. So this one is is a superhero mania. We all love superheroes. Um, you know, and, and right now, you know, all our, uh, you know, all all the people at the front line, uh, you know, are doctors, nurses, paramedics. You know, they are the real superheroes. However, right, we're talking about the superhero of the story kind. So my favorite uh, superhero, uh, you know, can you can you guess? I love magic. So any any uh, superhero, you know, that that can work with magic, you know, I love it. Now, what I want you to do is think this up. If I were a superhero, which means if you were a superhero, if you could have any ability, right? Not necessarily superpower. Could be anything. Uh, you know, could be speed reading. Could be being able to speak any language, uh, whatever your, you know, that is, or a superpower. What would it be? Why? And what's the first thing you would do with it? Okay, so I'm giving you 
just 50 to 75 words okay so not too much time you just have about five minutes in five minutes what is the one thing that you would do if you had the ability the superpower of your choice and what would it be of course why would you choose that and what would you do with it? okay five minutes over to you just give me one minute Sorry, there was some noise in the background. We shut it down. Okay, awesome. So again, I hope I'm going to read some very, 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 very interesting ideas, interesting stories. So yes, I was I was talking about my favorite superheroes. So one of the one of the superheroes, uh, you know, favorite superheroes is uh, you know when i was a kid i i don't know many of you may not have uh, uh, heard about and read about uh, about him but there was uh, someone called mandrick mandrick the magician uh, so to probably tell you how old i am this is that uh, if you do a little bit of research <laughs> but i used to i used to be a big fan of man and 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 he used to be a he used to be a, a illusionist uh, but he was very, very good, right? And he, 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 there used to be these comic strips, and I used to have so much fun, uh, you know, uh, reading them. Uh, especially, and at that time, we, you know, we did not have online, so I used to wait for the Sunday newspaper because there would be a, a you know, a big spread of comics, and the first thing I would read was Mandarin. Uh, but now, uh, you know, things have changed, of course, and Doctor Strange is uh, one of my favorites. Um, I also love the actor Benedict uh, a lot, so you know it's a it's a double uh, whammy. Uh, but yeah, for me, anything to do with magic, uh, you know, is a is a winner. Uh, so if the, if there was one power I could have, it would be uh, the ability to do magic, and and I mean real magic, not not tricks, not illusions, but real magic. Yeah. Uh, so that's the one thing that I would love to uh, have as a superpower. Uh, why? Um, uh, it's, uh, it's just uh, I've always been fascinated by magic and you know what I what one can do with uh, it, uh, the amount of good that one can do with uh, real magic and the difference that you know can be made. Uh, so it just is it's, it's just amazing. Uh, just thinking about it, you know, gives me goosebumps. Uh, that you know, what if I could do real magic? Yeah. And uh, what's the first thing I would do right now? You know, <laughs> we all know the answer. <laughs> what What would anyone, if, if they could, they would have real magic. What What would they do, right? Uh, so we won't get into that. But yeah, that's that's the first thing I would do uh, if I had the ability to do, to, you know, work with real magic. Anyway, um, I'm waiting to hear what you have. Uh, fifth, about fifty to seventy five words is more than enough. Uh, write it down. Um, share it. Uh, you don't have to type it again, right? If you've written it, say on, on a piece of paper, you can even take a photograph and share that photograph uh, itself. You know, don't forget to add your name. Um, that's fine. That's fair enough. As long as it's readable, uh, even even you know, handwritten is absolutely fine. You don't have to type it, but you can. Uh, don't forget the hashtag um, OCLF Nagpur. Okay, and uh, so I'm, I'm I'm giving you just one more minute, and then we're going to move on to the next one. So if you're done, uh, you know, grab some water. Grab a bite, you know, you have about a minute to go. Uh, if you're not, keep writing. Uh, and uh, as soon as you're done, get a fresh sheet of paper ready or turn your page. And we're going to move to the next one. If you can, uh, you know. Also, if you do ha have a little time, uh, you can do. You can even even make a sketch. Uh, you know, that'll be nice. Uh, you don't have to like really uh, take a lot of time. Why don't you do that, right? Even if it's a stick figure, okay. Um, so I'm going to give you a minute more. Uh, add a sketch to it, right? Uh, it can be as basic as a as a stick figure, and I'm not really, you know, a, a, a great artist, okay. So. Uh, even if even if you even if you draw something as basic as a 
stick figure. Right. So, so even if it's <laughs> even if it's as basic as this, that's absolutely fine. You know, I'm terrible at drawing. I wish I could draw, uh, but don't worry about it, right? But why don't you draw something? Draw, draw, you know, just think about how if you were to be a superhero, what kind of costume would you have? What kind of prop would you have? What kind of equipment, gadgets would you have? Uh, you know, if 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 you want to be something like Iron Man, what kind of technology would you have? So just take a minute more and just, you know, add something, you know, it's fun. Even though I'm not very good at doodling, I love to, you know, uh, I love to embarrass myself by sharing things like this. <laughs> but it's, it's, it's all, it's all part of the fun here. Okay. okay so <clears throat> let's move to the next exercise. Yeah. Do not forget, as soon as you're done, share um you don't have to share it like right away but as soon as you're done with the end of the session immediately whatever you write whatever you like just put it up on your social media put in the hashtags and uh you know you might just win some interesting stuff awesome okay so here's the next one this is uh this is interesting okay so um you find a crystal ball now what's a crystal ball a crystal ball is something that you can see uh into right and it can show you across space and across time so you can uh, you can see another part of the world another part of the universe you can even see other parts of time in future past right depending on what what uh, magic uh, the crystal ball has so you find a crystal ball that can show you our planet earth as it will be in 2070 2070 which is 50 years from now however uh, this has a limited power so it can only show you one minute Okay, so one, when you glance into it, it will show you one minute, 60 seconds, that's it, and then it'll stop. So just think about it. You look into it, what will you see You know, in 60 seconds? So I want you to write down, so 60 seconds will be about 100 words. So in about 100 to max 120 words, not more than that, 100 words is good. Tell me, what would you see on Earth in 2017? You could see something white, like as if you're in space and, you know, you're seeing Earth and, you know, you're seeing changes, or you know, on a massive scale, or it could be uh, across one country, or it could be one city, or it could be one street, or it could be one home. Anything is fine, right? Um, the change that you're talking about in terms of 50 years, you can show it at any point, right? Um, you know, in, at, the, at the micro you know, a home or an office, and at the macro, at the level of the world, uh, in terms of people, how people are traveling, in terms of anything, right? Uh, so I'm going to give you a, a, a couple of minutes, but not more than about 90 to about 100 words is good. Okay, go for it. Um, I think about uh, three minutes should be more than enough yeah don't think too much just close your eyes take 20 seconds imagine how 2070 would be and just and scribble it down and don't worry if, you know about whether it sounds um, funny or whether it sounds impossible you know we're talking 50 years we don't know uh, you know how things change right what could happen in 50 years no one really knows honestly no one knows so maybe whatever you imagine can actually come true so don't stop yourself from coming up with things that you feel are impossible because honestly, 50 years hence, I don't think anything is impossible. We don't know what, you know, how, where we'll reach, the kind of progress we'll make, the kind of, uh, you know, technology we'll have, the kind of, uh, you know, nature, uh, uh, you know, that we'll be enjoying, you know, the way things, you know, we'll make, you know, and, and you, all of y'all, you, you know, you, you are the ones who, who, who are actually going to make that difference, right? You, you're in that 10 to 12. So, uh, you, you know, you by the time uh, you know we reached uh, 2070, uh, all of you all will have you know your uh, ideas put into place, and so whatever you think of, whatever you imagine, you you can actually make it true over the next uh, you know decades. That's so exciting. So about a minute and a half more, and then we're going to move to the next one. Do not forget, write it. If you're writing it by hand, ensure it's legible because if you share it, 
you know, I we would love to be able to read it, right? And some of the entries that you know, if if you find it interesting, we you might just win something. But if not, it's okay. It, it's it's always fun to uh, share uh, your ideas, your imagination, uh, you know, with with, the, with friends, with with people around, with your with your classmates. So you don't have to just write it, uh, uh, you know, for the prize. You write it because you know it's it's fun, right? So about uh, about a minute more, okay. Uh, and again, uh, if 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 you're more the visual kinds, and if you feel that you want to just maybe you know put in a quick sketch, absolutely go for it, right? Uh, writing, you know, and doodling goes hand in hand. So go ahead. I you know I I don't I, as you can see I'm not into sketching, but I I work with illustrators. I worked on three comic strips. Uh, and I've worked with some amazing illustrators. So I write, I conceptualize, and they, uh, you know, they put their uh, magic uh, onto paper. Um, but uh, nothing stops you from doing both. Yeah, there are many, many, many amazing comic writers who also, you know, draw uh, equally well. So you, know, you could be one. You could, you could write and and create your own comics. Uh, so start doodling. Absolutely no problem. Okay. So I'm going to give you a minute more if you want to. Sketch something up, you know, basis whatever you've seen in 2017, and you just want to add something. Go ahead. Okay, so about 30 seconds more, and then we're moving to the next exercise. Yeah, I hope you guys are having fun. Uh, I am waiting to read and you know see what you guys come up with okay, okay so uh, time's up and let's move to the next one okay do not forget the hashtag is OCLF Nakpur. okay so whatever you do do not forget to share even if it's one of them I really I, you know it'll be lovely if you put all of it but even if it's fun please don't uh, uh, forget that okay uh, here's the next one so this is exciting okay uh, imagine you uh, wake up and a huge gift box right is magically just appeared in your living room right no one has any clue at all where it has come from uh it has your name on it and you know it could possibly say open me right uh, now what i want you to do is in about maybe about 150 words or so i want you to tell me what happens when you open this okay you open this box it's a gift box it's huge now you decide how big it is it could be um you know a a a, a you know, a foot, uh, you know, into a foot, into a foot, one feet into one feet into, uh, you know, foot, or it could be huge, it could be half the room, I don't know, you know, it's completely your box, you decide the size, you decide uh, how you're going to open it, you know, it, it doesn't have wrapping paper, or is it a lock, your choice, um, what's inside, again, your choice, you know, it could be anything, uh, but need not be magic, can be magic, uh, whatever you want it to be, okay? So I'm going to I'm going to uh, give you all a couple of minutes here, and and what I want you to do is I want you to think up some sort of a story, okay? Uh, so don't just uh, say okay I opened the box and it had an elephant in it, uh, and I fed the elephant and we became friends. That you know it's it's nice, um, but it's not really an adventure, right? Uh, I want you to be able to uh, you know go in in you know somewhere through the through this. Uh, or find a clue uh, that leads you to some some place else, or find a maybe some sort of key or something cryptic, some puzzle, uh, some door, uh, a teleportation device. I don't know, right? Uh, and then you go somewhere else and you you know solve a clue, or you open a door, or I don't know, uh, you know you get transported to some other you know other into another universe, and there you find a, you know an elephant that can talk to you. Something like that, you know, would be fun. Uh, but you know, your story. Uh, you know, you can go to the past, you can go into the future, you can go to other worlds. I'm just waiting to hear what you have. Yeah. Uh, so, um, how much how much time should we give you? Um, okay, so we will keep, we will keep um, seven minutes for this. Yeah, I think uh, I I want you all to come up with a nice story. Um, so take seven minutes, um, and at the end of it. We will move on to, you know, uh, one more exercise. Yeah, uh, because, uh, we un unfortunately only have forty minutes, uh, and I have to wrap up. If I do not, 
uh, they will ring a bell and I'll be cut off. <laughs> so I'll rather end it before they cut me out. Anyways, uh, I digress. On with your story. Seven minutes. Okay, so just just to help you along, okay, um, a story. Uh, again, there's them very very many many ways to uh, write stories, right? And there are many structures. Um, so obviously, I can't uh, you know even imagine uh, trying to cover everything. Um, but just to you know help you along, uh, keep in mind that you know a story works if you know there is a protagonist, and in this case, that's you. Or you're the, the hero or the heroine of the story, uh, the protagonist. Um, then there is some sort of uh, uh, you know something uh, you know a journey uh, you know or, or an opportunity, a treasure, a quest comes up, right? And which is what this is. Uh, you know, all of a sudden, you know, you have your normal life, you know, how you know, and there's something new, uh, unexpected, right? Sudden. Uh, now it's your choice uh, whether to. Uh, you know, step into it or not. And in this case, I'm asking you to step into it, but you could have waited for a while and said, no, I don't know. I don't want to touch it. Maybe it's something, you know, there might be something wrong, uh, you know, evil inside. So I won't touch it. But, you know, I'm saying open it. So you decide to get on this journey, on this quest, on this adventure. Um, now, the moment you step into it, uh, initially it's interesting, but then there has to be some sort of trouble, some sort of conflict, some sort of uh, challenge, uh, that you ha that you face, uh, you know, uh, which then uh, makes you work, which then makes you think, which then makes you realize what are the things you 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 are good with and what are the things you need to work upon. Uh, maybe you know you, you you know you're good with several things, but there's this one thing uh, you know that 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 uh, you know maybe 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 you you know you uh, you don't uh, you know you don't. Uh, 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 you, you know, you don't talk as much uh, with others as you should, uh, you know, and, uh, you know, you, you're someone who stays, you know, to, to herself, uh, spends a lot of times with books, the way I do. Uh, and maybe, you know, this adventure, you, you know, makes you realize that it's important to spend, more, you know, a little more time with others, talk to them, get to know them, tell them about yourself, uh, and in the process, learn from them so that together you can work, you know, team, as a team and, and help each other through the journey. You know, someone you meet there uh, and, and you, that's a learning, right? And you, and you learn to do that and, 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 and you make friends in that adventure uh, and together, you know, the friends are able to help each other get out of that trouble uh, and, you know, find the final treasure, overcome uh, whatever challenge, defeat the, you know, the demons and then come back right to their home right uh, with those powers with those treasures with those learnings right so you know uh, it's almost like a, a hero's heroine's journey right uh, and, and you see so many stories like these so maybe if you could try something like that you know that'll be wonderful yeah. uh, and Honestly, if, if you do not get done with this uh, right away, like in this very, uh, you know, 30, 40 minutes, absolutely no problem. You can, you know, work on this uh, for a couple of minutes, uh, you know, even after the session is over and share it. Um, you know, I, 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 I won't mind. Okay. But do, you know, write it to the best that you can. Uh, have fun with it. Very, very important. Uh, if you're having fun, 
uh, you know, when I and others read it, we will enjoy it as well, right? It's, that's that's the secret. That's the magic. Have fun. Uh, you know, when you when you do when you create something, whatever you create, have fun with it. Okay, so um, a minute to go. Okay, and then we will move. We're all uh, you know thirty minutes up. Yeah, so we just have uh, a little less than ten minutes to go. Um, I'm going to give you another 30 seconds and then we're going to move into the final exercise. Yeah. Twenty seconds to go. No pressure. <laughs> Honestly, no pressure. Have fun. I'm just kidding. This is not an exam. This is not a competition. This is not a contest. We're just having fun. And uh, I'm looking for, I'm not looking for the best English uh, uh, grammar, uh, the, you know, the best uh, 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 usage of language. I'm, you know, honestly, you know, I'm, I'm looking at ima your imagination. I'm going to be seeing what are the kind of uh, ideas you come up with, even if they are not complete. Um, I'm going to be, uh, as in, and it's not just me, of course, a bunch of us, uh, you know, will be reading it. Um, and if you just, if you make a smile, if you make us, uh, 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 you know, feel wonder at what you have come up with. If you just make us, uh, you know, scratch our heads and, and think, what is going on here? Anything, right? Uh, if you can do something like that, uh, it, you know, it'll, it'll be nice, you know, language, you know, all of that, you know, in your second draft, in your third draft, you know, as you keep working on it, as you keep rewriting it, you can, you know, always take care of the grammar and all of that. That's important. Grammar is important. Uh, you know, uh, your spellings are important. All of that is important. But right now, you know, what's really important is you and your imagination. If you have that, you can always work on the rest, you know, in your subsequent drafts. Okay. All right. So um, with a little uh, over time, let's just quickly move it. Okay. So again, remember, I know I've shared this a couple of times, but I don't want you all to miss this. It's OCLF NACO. Okay. Now, this is the final one. And okay, um, someone had asked me, uh, uh, you know, a day or so back, uh, why this, uh, why this name, right? Um, I, I, I put this name, right? Uh, Superhero Starship Stranger Stories, right? Uh, why, why, why this, right? So these are the things: superheroes, starships, uh, strangers, right? Uh, these are the three things that are fascinating, uh, you know, to me at this point in my life, right? Uh, and, and I'm doing a lot of uh, reading uh, around them, you know, both fiction and nonfiction. Uh, so I just, I just thought, and I, and I, and I work a lot with, uh, with, uh, you know, uh, with children uh, of all ages, you know, uh, especially, especially your age, uh, eight, uh, ten, twelve. Um, so uh, it's, it's amazing the kind of uh, ideas you guys have, the kind of uh, imagination, creativity you have. Uh, so I'm, I'm always getting challenged, uh, and so you know, I do a lot of reading, uh, you know, fiction, nonfiction. So you know, superheroes, you know, space spacecrafts. Spacecrafts are basically uh, um, you know machines, uh, uh, vehicles uh, that can travel, uh, you know, between stars. Right? So they're, 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 it's not a it's not a ship. It's a craft. Uh, so it, it can travel long distances. They're not yet made, but you know, in the next fifty years, you know. I'm sure we will have them, and I'm sure many of you will be instrumental in creating these uh, in the imagination and in reality. Yeah, so exciting. Okay, so this is what we're going to do. Uh, you wake up one morning and you find a spacecraft hovering above your home. Okay, um, just you look outside, and people are all outside, are looking outside the windows. You look out, and there's a space. You know, there's a spacecraft, uh, and it's definitely alien. Uh, no doubt about it. So now, what I want you to tell me is, what do the aliens want, okay? And what do you do? So you, you have to start from the point at which, you know, the aliens approach y'all. Maybe you, you know, they want you to come with them to their planet because you have some skill that they need uh, and only you can help them with it. I don't know. Uh, or or maybe, you know, they, they, they're upset with you because of something you've done. I don't know, you know, how naughty you've been. Uh, that, that's something you have to tell me. Okay. So uh, what do the aliens want? And what do you do when you find out what they want? Do you help them? Do you not help them? Uh, do you convince them to go back uh, peacefully? Uh, do you join them and go to their, on, on an adventure with them? 
uh, you fight with them. I don't know. You know that's your story. Uh, again, 100 to 150 words. Uh, so I'm going to give you about uh, you know five minutes, uh, about four minutes. Uh, I'm sorry, uh, we're short on time. Um, you can keep writing after that, uh, but four, uh, in you know four minutes later, we'll conclude this. I also have the pleasure of announcing the second winner of the blog, uh, you know, writing contest, right? So four minutes hence, I'm going to do that. And then I'm going to wave you off and see what you have online. Okay, go for it. You wake up one morning, you find a spacecraft hovering above your home. What do the aliens want and what do you do? Have fun. Oh, it can be, uh, I've mentioned a spacecraft, but you know, if you really want many, sure, you can have you know, 10, you can have 100, you can have 1,000. Honestly, you know, it's up to you. Uh, but one is good enough, uh, you know, for a story. Um, again, the aliens, you, your choice. Uh, they can be human-like. Uh, they can be some sort of animal. Uh, they can be some sort of, uh, you know, reptile. I don't know, right? Or, or, or they can just be a brain, right? Just, just uh, uh, you know, nobody, uh, just, you know, mind. Uh, completely your imagination, right? Uh, <clears throat> or it could, they could be, they could be just technology, right? So just robots, right? And, you know, there is, there are no, um, you know, there are no, um, I wouldn't say sentiment, but, uh, you know, there's, there are no, uh, there's nothing in flesh. Uh, it's all, you know, just robots, right? And artificial AI and art robots and uh, machines and technology, right? Uh, could be absolutely, uh, you know, your story, your imagination, your ideas. Yeah. Um, so we have two more minutes together uh, before we I wrap this up uh, with the conclusion and the blog. So, so you have two minutes to go. You can keep writing. Two minutes later, I'm going to, unfortunately, but 40 minutes are nearly up. Okay. I'm going to get some water. Oh, and in case anyone of you is wondering, this is, it's not a virtual background, okay? These are real books. <laughs> I can try and remove one of them. Yeah. Hey, yes. <clears throat> so one more minute to go together. Uh, uh, but I am uh, looking forward to what you have. So the fun is not over. The journey is not over. The ideas and the creativity is not over. I want you to go online, put whatever you have up, don't forget the hashtag, and maybe, you know, some of you might win something interesting, yeah? Um, if not, I still want you all to share it. I still want you all to share it with your friends, your classmates, your teachers, uh, invite them uh, to, uh, you know, come up with their uh, uh, stories, uh, share those. Uh, don't stop, right? This is just the start. It's just an introduction. We can't, you know, there's only so much, you know, we can cover in 40 minutes, uh, you know, virtually. Um, but, you know, all I have done is given you some ideas uh, that you can use. But there's so much more you can do, right? Uh, don't stop. Like I said, the first exercise, the driftwood exercise, you can replace it with something else. Uh, you know, these exercises, instead of uh, an alien, it could be a, uh, you know, a mythical creature, it could be a unicorn, it could be a centaur. And I have so many things you could do. Uh, you know, instead of gift box, it could be a cupboard uh, that mysteriously, mysteriously appears, or it could be a car that appears. So there is no, you know, no end to, you know, the stories you can come up with and the ideas that you can uh, create. Okay, so uh, let's just, uh, that's the hashtag. Okay. And um, I am delighted to announce the blog contest second winner. That's Prajakta Pendam for her piece, The Mirror of Society Literature. Okay, congratulations, Prajakta. Uh, you know, we're so all so proud of you and delighted, you know, with what you came up with. Okay, 
So um, I'll be announcing the uh, first winner uh, a little later at the two o'clock session. Uh, but Prajakta, congratulations. Right? And uh, that's that. We're done. Okay, have fun. Keep writing. Keep imagining. Okay, and I am waiting to read. And we are all at OCLF Orange City Literature Festival. We're waiting to hear, read what you have. Okay. Um, so, the Rai Sony Group, Dr. Manal, Prachi, the rest of the team, the Orange City Literature Festival, thank you so much for having uh, me over and giving me this opportunity to uh, share uh, some of my passion with you all. Okay. And uh, I'll, I'll be around. Bye. Thank you so much, sir, for this wonderful session. It was pleasure having you today for the topic. It was a very amazing session. I personally loved your session, sir. The session was fun-loving and interesting one. On behalf of Orange City Literature Fest, we sincerely express our gratitude towards your acceptance for the session and knowledge shared with us. Once again, thank you so much, sir and sir. Our Thank next you, session for the day is Panel on Crime Fiction, an instigator or inhibitor with Abir Kapoor, Anush Tiwari, Tanush Reporter, and conversation with Arjunisha. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Twenty years of existence. Two universities. 23 educational institutes offering 137 courses. Rai Sony Group of Institutions, a vision beyond.